hey guys welcome back to my channel so in today's video i will be showing you a recipe yes besides makeup beauty and lifestyle i also love to bake and a little bit of cooking so this recipe this is my cinnamon rolls recipe has been highly requested because i've been posting photos of them in my instagram so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and inshallah if i have more times i will definitely do more recipes okay so keep on watching the ingredients you need for the dough and the cinnamon butter is flour, uh, brown sugar, cinnamon, melted butter, yeast, white sugar, salt, uh, eggs and warm milk and also vanilla oh no no the vanilla is for the icing uh, don't you worry about the ingredients i will list it in the description box below so the first thing that we are going to do is take our warm milk and put in the yeast and then we are going to take one teaspoon of sugar this is just to feed our uh, to feed on the yeast so that the yeast will activate stir it a bit i know it's kind of lumpy but it's okay just stir it on a bit and just wait until it will foam up about five minutes now you can see it's already foam up and what you need to do is to add the remaining sugar add the melted butter the salt one cup of flour stir them up um, don't worry about the lumpiness because after this we are going to add uh, the two eggs make sure to stir them well So this is the consistency that we are looking for and next we are going to take the remaining flour and then we're just going to pour the, the batter into the flour. Stir it up with a spoon or a spatula but you know what I give up and I just use my fingers because that is the best way to do it but make sure that your fingers are clean if you want to use your fingers okay so just make sure they're clean so just keep on kneading it for about I would say about three minutes you know just to make sure that everything is well combined and it's not too sticky and if it is sticky like mine I uh, just add a little bit of uh, flour just to make sure that it's not sticky anymore so looking at this I am happy with the consistency So we are going to cover it up with kitchen cloth for about one and a half hours or until it doubles. Um, meanwhile, while waiting for your dough to rise, we can do the cinnamon butter. So what we need is the brown, uh, the, uh, the brown sugar and then add in the butter. And you can just try to mash them up together first before putting in the cinnamon. Alright, so then just put in the cinnamon and just mix them well. Mm -hmm. 
This is the consistency that we are looking for, so this is done. Keep it aside to use later. So this is the dough after one hour. It's very fluffy, so yes, I just punch it. That's a very satisfying move to do. So the first thing that you are going to do is just to put a little bit of flour on your uh, rolling, I don't know, what do you call that mat? I don't know. I have like a huge, like, you know, the mat for that, but I don't know where it was. I have to go for this one. So anyway, as you can see, the dough, can you see that it's very stretchy? That's what we want, okay, to make our uh, cinnamon rolls very fluffy and very soft. So just knead it a little bit. Knead it and knead it some more. I divided the dough into two balls, so this is the first one. Um, we are going to roll it out into a rectangular shape. So just keep on rolling because it is going to take you know quite some time. But don't worry, it's going to be with it. So just keep on rolling. Uh, keep on rolling until we get to this size, to this shape. Kind of doesn't really matter if it's a bit uneven. It doesn't really matter because it's going to be in your tummy. So just take half of the cinnamon butter because we have another another half of the dough inside the bowl. So just pour it on the dough and just, you know, what do we call that? And just spread it all out just to make sure that everything is well covered with the cinnamon butter. Now we need to roll up the dough, just do it like this, like you are rolling, I don't know, <laughs> I don't know how to describe it, just roll it, just roll the dough. After you are done are rolling, what I always do is just to divide, just to cut the dough into half and then just put it one half, just put it aside and then I will cut the ends because it's not so pretty and then from that roll, I will like once again divide it into half and then divide it into another half and then divide it into another half. You get what I mean? That's how we are going to uh, cut it. And then you can go ahead and arrange it on your baking pan, baking tray. Um, I don't remember what is the size of this pan but you know what? And this is all the cinnamon rolls that we got and then we are going to cover it up once again with a kitchen cloth and then we have to wait for about 20 minutes to 20 to 30 minutes because we need to let them rise once again before baking and while doing that we can turn on the uh, our oven and just set it at 200 degrees again it depends on your oven you know it, sometimes it can be 180 or not all right so this is what happens after 20 minutes as you can see the dough has risen tremendously so what i'm going to do next is just to take a little bit of the melted butter and then i'm just going to brush it on top just to make it uh, brown and very pretty these are ready to be baked for about I would say between 15 to 20 minutes again depending on your oven okay so now while waiting for that we are going to do the icing we need a little bit of melted butter just pour in a little bit of milk and then just mix them up and then what we are going to do next is to add um, a little bit of vanilla
stir them up and then we are going to add icing sugar Now the cinnamon rolls has done baking and it looks so lovely so we are going to drizzle the icing. This is the best part, I don't know why but I really love this part because I think it's like the finale and now I can eat them. <laughs> so yeah, just keep on drizzling. So this is the final product, product, <laughs> this is the final look, I think it looks very very nice, it is very appetizing, it's homemade guys so it's going to taste good, it's going to taste better than cinnamon, oops. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching I will try my best to do more recipes in the future I will try to do it it is hard you know to record a cooking video okay so I'll see you guys in my next video bye bye